Hello, welcome everyone to our newcomer orientation and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ricky Safer, a PSC patient, <clears throat> excuse me, and founder and volunteer CEO of PSC Partners Seeking a Cure. First, we'd like to start off by thanking all of our community sponsors who are sponsoring our conference for us this year. And then this is my better half, Don Safer, better known as Bowtie Man. If this is your first time at PSC Partners Conference, please know that we are a very warm, compassionate, and welcoming community of PSC patients and caregivers. Traditionally, we hold our annual conference in person, but due to the unpredictability of COVID, we are holding a virtual conference this year. You will still have the chance to meet many PCers and caregivers during the weekend. Next slide, please. The mission of PSC Partners Seeking a Cure is to drive research to identify treatments and a cure for primary sclerosis and cholangitis, while providing education and support for those impacted by this rare disease. Next slide, please. The patient voice is at the center of everything that we do at PSC Partners Seeking a Cure. We have a PSC patient registry already with over 2,000 participants. And if you haven't joined, you'll learn more about it at the conference and we hope you will join. Um, in 2020, we gave a patient-focused drug development forum with the FDA where all our patient, many of our patients were able to tell their personal stories. And during that PFDD meeting, we created our voices survey with 850 respondents. We had patient participation in our roadmap learning series and the patient's voice will shine at our upcoming conference and you will all be a part of this. We need your patient voice during the conference, especially during the interactive think tank sessions. If you aren't ready to speak up yet during a breakout session, you can always share your thoughts in other ways. You can put your thoughts and questions in the chat box during the conference you can send us a message after the conference at contact us at pscpartners.org, or you can write your comments and evaluation that we'll be sending out after the conference. But main thing to understand, patients and caregivers, we need your physical presence so the researchers can see the power of our community. Next slide, please. What ongoing patient and caregiver offerings for you do we have? First, we would like to have, we have a close collaboration with our affiliate PSC Partners Canada. We have awarded over $5.5 million in international PSC research grants. We have a comprehensive updated website. June 2nd to the 5th, we will hold our annual patient caregiver conference virtually. We have peer-to-peer -peer support opportunities and social media groups. We send out a monthly online newsletter. Watch for our daily social media posts and our monthly podcast on various topics. Next slide, please. Some, I'll go through quickly some of our recent organizational highlights, but you'll learn about all of this during the conference itself. In 2020, we received a Chan Zuckerberg Initiative Rare as One grant which has greatly accelerated our progress in finding new therapies. One of our first steps was to hire Dr. Ruth Ann Pai as our Director of Research Strategy. We also created a roadmap learning series of monthly webinars in 2021 to 22. If you miss these webinars, the recordings are posted on our website. The next three bullets are exciting initiatives that we will be presenting during the conference. Don't worry about them right now. We're going to launch our International Collaborative Research Network. We're gonna introduce WIND, our worldwide integration of natural history databases, and also talk about the creation of PSC Partners Patient Reported Outcome Measure. This may all sound like a foreign language to you now, but just absorb things slowly, don't worry, and ask questions of everyone around you. Tonight, we'll be giving you a lot of information, but don't get overwhelmed. Feel free to ask questions anytime tonight or afterwards. If you have never been to our conferences, you're probably worrying that it will be a difficult experience. But please know, 
that you will enjoy being part of our community. And now I'd like to introduce our next two presenters, Jennifer Sims and Wes Hendricks, both active and enthusiastic members of our board of directors. They are both PSC caregivers. Take it away, Jennifer and Wes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Wes Hendricks. Thank you, Ricky, for that introduction. Welcome. We are so, so glad you're here. Um, I want you to know that I've sat where you sat or where you're sitting right now. Jennifer has sat where you're sitting now. Uh, we've been there. We remember it. Um, and we're just really glad that you took a chance to join us tonight. I am from Texas. My wife has PSC. She was diagnosed about 10 years ago when she started having some really weird symptoms, symptoms that she'd never had before. And that started us on our path to doctor after doctor, after doctor, after doctor. Um, we finally found one who was so happy um, that she diagnosed us correctly, that she did so with a smile on her face uh, and was so pleased to tell us that my wife had this very rare disease called primary sclerosing cholangitis. And of course we did not know what that was. And so we asked, and again, with a smile on her face, said, oh, well, it's an uncurable liver disease. And uh, most likely you have five years until you either need a liver transplant or you have morbidity. That was a nice word to hear with my wife sitting right next to me. Uh, we have two small children. Of course, we were just dumbfounded um, and um, distraught. So we did what a lot of people did um, after coming out of our phase and just, you know, uh, we went online and then we got even more scared because what we could find online uh, seemed to make things even worse. Thankfully, my wife soon found PSC partners and she found them through their Facebook group. And she tried to ch started chatting with some of these folks and it really started to help her feel better um, because she started to gain some information and gain some knowledge uh, and talk to people that also had PSC. She then came to me one night and said, they have conferences and we're going. And I thought, that can't be right. I don't know any of these people. They're on Facebook. This sounds, I don't know, this sounds shady. Uh, and she smiled and said, oh no, we're both going and you're coming with me and it's gonna be great. So uh, with some hesitation, I went and I can tell you, I, I couldn't be happier that, that we did. Immediately, um, we started to feel better because we met people who had walked the path that we were walking. We met people, we met some people that had PSC for 20 years, which we didn't think was possible based on what our doctor had told us. Um, and it only has gotten better since then. So again, thank you so much for joining us. It takes courage to take this kind of step. Uh, you're to be commended for your courage. It's nice to meet you, even if virtually. Jennifer? Thanks, Wes. My name is Jennifer Sims. I'm also from Texas. Um, I live in Colorado now. And my son, Kyle, has PSC. He is 19 now. He was diagnosed when he was eight years old. Uh, so we were in that even rarer group of pediatric PSC. Um, at the age of 15, he had a transplant. And then about a month ago, he was diagnosed with recurrent PSC. So we've kind of been around the block a few times with this disease and a few other difficulties. but. Um, we have great doctors, we have wonderful resources, and we found PSC partners and the conference through one of our hepatologists. And we went to the conference, my husband and I did, my son was too young to go at the time. We had never heard of PSC when Kyle was diagnosed, and we never met anyone that had PSC. Like it was just so foreign to us. And we were actually anxious to go. We wanted to get there. We wanted to meet people. We wanted to see what it was that we were dealing with. What are we fighting? Because we had no idea. Um, so we went to our first conference. We started meeting people and it was so refreshing to us to be able, especially as a parent of a PSC -er who was young at the time, to not be able to necessarily communicate his needs or his symptoms or you know the different things that he was going through very well 
And so we didn't know, is this normal? Is it not? Do we need to be really concerned about this? We didn't really know how to feel. We just wanted information. And it was so nice to meet other PSCers that we could say, hey, our son complains about this all the time, or he goes through this. Is this normal? Do we, do you experience this also? And we just soaked in all of the information that we could. In addition to that, we met people who are now part of our extended family. I mean, we all, Wes and I always joke that Wes is the brother that I never wanted. Um, but you become family with these uh, people that you meet because it's just so refreshing and so comforting to be in an environment where people get you. They understand what you're going through, whether you're the patient, whether you're the caregiver, uh, a friend, whatever it is, everyone understands everyone else's struggles and just kind of the journey that you're on. Um, so that is a reason uh, that we attended the conference and why we keep going back all of the time. Uh, we would love to meet you in person. Uh, and whenever we get to meet again in person, we're very, very glad that you, like Wes said, took a chance to be here tonight. Um, don't get overwhelmed. You just need to sit back and listen, ask questions as you have them in the Q&A box. Um, but you're gonna learn so much at the conference. And we just wanna be here to kind of give you a preview of that and to see like, what is this all about? Are these people strange? Are they weird? Do they know what they're talking about? You know, do we really wanna stick around? So we assure you that you do. We want you to stay involved. Um, my first conference was eight years ago, and I've been deeply involved in the organization ever since, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, so we're going to go through now a little bit of summary about kinds of things that you're going to hear and have the opportunity to hear throughout the different sessions throughout the conference uh, next month. So Wes is going to give us a little bit of a start on that. Sure, happy to start. Um, and and bef before I do, let me just say one more thing. Um, you know, my first conference and my wife's first conference was really just the beginning for us. PSC Partners uh, has been there for us year after year after year. And I think the reason uh, they are is, you know, everyone uh, in this organization has skin in the game. They're either a PSC patient, they're, you know, a spouse of a PSC patient, a mother, a father, a son, a brother, or a dear friend of a PSC -er. And the connections that are made with other people who have an incredibly rare disease, it, they're special um, because you don't meet a lot of people in this world who say, yeah, me too. I understand that. Um, that foundation at our first conference has really helped us through the years. Um, PSC Partners has unbelievable resources on their website, for instance, I need to find a new doctor. Or I need to find a doctor. Um, you know, we have a map function you can go to. Um, this organization is dedicated to providing resources like that to you uh, to try to just make this journey a little less scary because um, it's it's a tough journey. Uh, and so anything we can do to help, we will, mm -hmm. even after this conference. Um, you can call headquarters and say, I, you know, I need X, Y, or Z, and they will put you in contact with someone who knows how to help. Um, and so enjoy the conference and also know we continue to be here after the conference. So what can you expect from the conference? Well, you know, what are you going to hear? You've heard multiple times, don't get overwhelmed. There is a lot of information. Uh, some of you are ready for that. Some of you might not be ready for that. Just absorb what you can. Um, one of the things we're going to hear during this conference are updates from leading researchers uh, and what is going on on the cutting edge of PSC research. I can tell you, uh, I guess, you know, if you prefer, uh, it'd be much better if you didn't have to attend this conference, then you wouldn't be affected by PSC. But if you had to attend, I can tell you, this is the year you want to do it because more research is happening than ever before. Um, there are more initiatives. This organization is growing. We have support like we've never had. It's a very exciting time. I do have hope. Um, some of the research you're going to hear might sound like Greek to you. I am not a science person. I sometimes struggle with it. Again, take what you can, write down the questions you want to write down, and we'll get you the answers as soon as we can. Jennifer? Yeah, some of the other ways that you can participate, and you'll see this as you register for the conference and when you receive agendas throughout the week for what the weekend is going to hold, uh, you're going to have a lot of different opportunities in different formats to interact 
with those other PSC patients and those caregivers. Like I mentioned before, that was one of the most important things to me and my husband when we came to the conference was just to meet people and, and pick each other's brains and get to know them and know what their journey was like and learn how we can support each other. So on the first evening of the conference, on Thursday evening, there's gonna be a kickoff event and we'll be able to have the opportunity to talk to each other, meet people during different small group sessions. Since we're doing this on Zoom, it'll be uh, just different rooms that you'll get to go to and meet other people and maybe uh, find someone from your region or with your doctor or whatever. We'll also have a peer group session on Thursday evening as well as Sunday morning at the end of the conference to kind of decompress, to ask questions of people that are in the fight where you are in the fight. If you have a child with PSC, if, you have, if you're an adult with PSC, if your spouse has PSC, so they're going to be your peers and you're going to be able to converse with those people and learn uh, what they're going through as well. We also have some uh, breakout sessions where you can just kind of take care of yourself. Uh, we have a Tai Chi offering. We have some mindfulness uh, resources and break, uh, breakout rooms that you can attend, as well as some stretching, like physical stretching. Um, these are ways that we can learn to take care of ourselves, which I know as parents or as caregivers, we don't do that enough. But, and also as patients, we're constantly taking care of ourselves, but maybe there can be some refocusing of that and some additional resources given. So take advantage of that if your agenda allows for it. We're also going to have some more casual network lounges, and these are going to be um, ways to meet with certain individuals or different small groups. And then we'll have one-on-one -on -one discussions that you'll be able to take part in throughout the conference that'll be noted on your agenda throughout the weekend. All right. Uh, you are also going to hear about a really exciting launch of something new, the International Collaborative Research Network. We call it the ICR Network. That stems from our, the PSC partners, CZI grant. So that's the Chan Zuckerberg Institute grant. Uh, we were one of not that many organizations to receive this kind of grant, and we are making full use of it. Uh, so during the keynote address on Friday morning, we're going to learn about the International Collaborative Network approach, turning hope into action, which is going to be a pivotal process for expanding PSC research. We're privileged to have Dr. David Fagenbaum tell his story and how PSC partners can leverage our research network uh, and include the voice of the patient into our strategic research plan. We've really started to pivot away from, hey, let's go just find researchers, see what they're doing and fund them to, we are the patient community, we know what we need and we are going to drive the research. It's a very exciting time. Jennifer? Yeah, thanks. The other um, opportunity that you're going to have that you're really not going to want to miss out on during the conference are what we're going to call think tank sessions. And these are big group se sessions that you're going to be involved in discussions, whether listening to or participating with the uh, um, people who are going to discuss the PSC partners research agenda. Um, we have, like Wes was saying, we have started to kind of drive and guide research. And this is where you're gonna hear and learn about some of the research that's going on uh, in PSC. Also, there's drug development research. So it's not just, um, it's medication, it's therapies, it's all sorts of different research. So you'll learn a ton if you uh, can attend some of those think tank sessions. You do not have to speak, you don't have to discuss, you can just sit back and listen and take notes and, and uh, try to take in as much information as you can. Another think tank session is going to focus on the worldwide integration of natural history databases, which we will refer to as WIND. Uh, that is a, a time where you can learn about ongoing international research initiatives and the PSC partners led and sponsored initiatives that is going to make valuable patient data available to researchers. The goal is to really give researchers a better understanding of what it's like to have PSC. I mean, until they really understand that, um, they can't really know what targets to hit. Uh, and that's what that is about. And your support 
uh, in our quest for those treatments and for a cure is essential. Um, so the goals, again, are gonna be to, to help you understand that, uh, to be able to allow you to give feedback if you want to, verbally or in writing. But you know, we want your thoughts. We wanna make your voice heard. Uh, some of you are ready for that. Some of you are not, and that's perfectly fine. But it's another really exciting think tank group that if you'd like to participate in, you're welcome to. Jennifer? You're also going to have opportunities to meet with different researchers and clinicians from all over the world. This uh, opportunity is just invaluable. Uh, I know that throughout all of the conferences that I've attended, uh, we've met people from everywhere with all types of different experiences and focus with PSC. And it's really, really wonderful to bounce ideas and questions off of them and, and say, you know, what, what are your areas of interest as far as research? How do you treat this? How do you do that? And it's just really exciting that we have this opportunity from some of the top uh, scientists and physicians all over the world. And those sessions are going to be on Friday and on Saturday. Um, there's also going to be some poster presentations by some of these researchers, and you're going to have an opportunity to go in and interact one on one with the presenters of these posters, the authors of them, and we'll give you more information about that and how you can join those throughout the weekend. Uh, another opportunity you'll have if you'd like to take it is individual conversations to meet with pharmaceutical companies and pharmaceutical representatives during their exhibit hours. So of course, we're a nonprofit, we are independent of those pharmaceutical companies. Um, but um, we do invite them um, because they are pulling in the same direction that we're pulling. In, and we fully support and want to help them succeed. Part of that is us asking questions. So what is the what is the state of the art? Where are you right now? What are you doing? What's worked? What hasn't worked? They're going to have essentially a virtual booth um, and certain hours where if you want to pop in and say, hey, tell me about your company and what you're doing, they'll be available to you. Mm -hmm. Jennifer? You're also going to be able to learn more about our patient registry. Uh, this was mentioned a little bit in the intro, and you'll hear a lot more about it. Uh, this is a great opportunity to provide anonymous medical information that we can um, utilize for research. And so you'll hear a ton of information about this because it's super, super important, like we've been saying, to have your voices heard. Um, so that'll be something that you'll want to take advantage of for sure. And I can't resist but to plug um, the patient registry as well. That is one of our most powerful tools. Mm -hmm. It is something that is a relatively light lift for patients to sign up for, but it's something that really gives us power because it shows mm -hmm. that we have our own registry that we can leverage to help researchers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's anonymous, it doesn't take, it's free to sign up. And if you are ever contacted, of, hey, do you wanna participate in the study? You can always say no. Um, but just having you in our registry is an incredibly powerful thing. So I really encourage you, please learn more about that. Uh, and if you're comfortable with it, uh, if you're not comfortable, ask questions and we'll hopefully give you some comfort. Uh, and it, but if you, if you get there, please do sign up for that registry. It is an incredibly powerful tool that we have. Uh, when you do have questions about the registry or otherwise, uh, we want you to know that there is a help desk. Uh, we know it's a bit strange virtually. Uh, many of us are now used to, to virtual meetings at this point. Um, we are going to have uh, the we're gonna give you the ability to connect with our help desk through our conference platform. You're gonna learn more about our platform in a second and how it all works, but please know there is a help desk. If you have any questions, um, logistically or otherwise, please um, go to the conference platform, click on the help desk and someone will be there to answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wes. Yeah, that was great. Uh, anytime, ask questions. We're gonna have a question and answer session at the end of this hour as well. Wes and a few other people uh, will be available to answer questions. So I uh, see that there's already a few in the chat box right now. So we'll come back to those later. Uh, right now, I'd like to introduce to you one of our other board members on PSC Partners. Her name is Trish Stolzfus, and she's going to give a little bit of information about our mentor-mentee program. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for being here. We're, uh, we're happy to see you. Um, I think you're going to hear uh, some a little bit of familiarity from what you heard from uh, Jennifer and Wes when you hear my story. Uh, I think we all are in the obviously in the same boat here. 
as far as uh, being affected by PSC in some way. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the mentor mentee program. Um, but first, uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm the mother of a 27 year old son who has PSC. He was diagnosed when he was 15. Um, and as the others have said, I had never heard of PSC prior to his diagnosis. So I did what every good mom does when they get home from the doctor and search Dr. Google. And at that point in time became more frightened than anything that the doctor had to say. Uh, so it, obviously it's very scary, everything you read. And as Wes said, you know, you're gonna be transplanted within five years, 10 years. Um, I can tell you that my son is 11 years in now, <clears throat> excuse me, and still has very minimal symptoms. So we feel very lucky for that, about that. Um, in doing my research, I happened upon PSC Partners uh, website and doing, looking through some of the information on there and also found about the conference. And the conference that year happened to be at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. So as I said, that was 10 years ago. And I decided to go to the conference, um, which put me very much out of my comfort zone to go halfway across the country by myself to meet a group of people that I didn't want to meet. I had knew not a soul. And uh, it was just, it was a very, very difficult decision for me. But I've been back every year since. The conference is absolutely wonderful. You will get so much out of it. Um, you'll make friends that will be lifelong friends. And it is just an absolutely incredible experience for to, to go to the conference. Um, during the registration process for that first conference, I had the opportunity to, to determine whether I wanted a mentor. Didn't really know what was involved with that, but decided sure. So I was matched with someone um, who had been to a conference previously, and she and I conversed several times back and forth before the conference. I was able to ask her questions just logistically, what, you know, what the conference is like, what are you aware? What, what do they talk about? Is it depressing? What, you know, what is, what's the whole thing? And she was able to make me a little more comfortable prior to coming to the conference and with what to expect. Then once I got to the conference, um, she was the first person that I met. And so she was my first PSC uh, friend. She was also a parent of a, a PSC patient. Um, and it made the weekend much easier for me having had that connection, <clears throat> excuse me, that connection with someone prior to the conference. So that's why I wanna to talk to you about the mentor mentee program that, that we have for the conference. Um, if you have registered for the conference and you signed up for a mentor, uh, we will be in touch with you. We'll match you. We try and match individuals with like individuals. So if you're a PSC patient, if you're a parent of a pediatric, if you're a parent of an adult, um, we match like to like. And you will be uh, contacted by your mentor prior to the conference. And you'll be able to ask any questions and um, have support from that mentor prior to the conference. And the mentor will also be available for you during the conference if you have any questions. Um, if at the time that you registered, you did not request a mentor and you've changed your mind, please get in touch with us. That's no problem. We'll add you to the list and we'll get you matched up with someone. Uh, obviously this year is gonna be a little different with the fact that the conference is a virtual conference. Uh, the, it's gonna be new for the mentors as well. So, you know, they may not have every answer for you logistically at how things are gonna work. But as Wes and Jennifer said, we will have technical support available during the conference for that. Uh, we will also have the mentor, will have a way in which you can get in touch with them during the conference if you have any questions. And um, someone from headquarters will also be available for you if there's any issues at all during the conference. So if you get a mentor, you think your mentor is a security blanket, something or someone that you, you can depend on at a time that's needed. You know, when you just need that little extra comfort, your mentor will be there to help you through that issue or, or time that you're having at that, um, at any given time. 
Um, the mentors are normally very open to sharing their PSC stories, and it, it's very helpful to let you know that you're not alone, that there's others in the same boat as you. Um, as Jennifer had mentioned earlier, the peer group meetings are also another way to connect with individuals with similar histories and questions or concerns or anything you've heard about earlier. There will be sessions um, over the weekend. And then after the Sunday morning sessions, the groups will come back and give a little synopsis of what they talked about. Um, it's always anonymous. What is said in the group stays in the group. That doesn't, um, doesn't come out to everyone else. And these groups oftentimes end up being the favorite part of the conference to a lot of individuals because they're actually really talking and really getting involved and in speaking with somebody who does truly get it and is in the, walking the same road that they're walking um, and has either had the same question as they have or um, has navigated through that issue and is willing to help um, discuss what, what is going on. Uh, those, those sessions will often um, involve discussing what was uh, mentioned at one of the sessions by the, me by the medical personnel, um, or oftentimes something more personal, such as how did you handle you know, something when this occurred? And the sessions can sometimes be quite emotional and quite deep, but they're very, very, um, very, very helpful and something that you'll get a lot out of. Um, getting perspective from others seems to really be helpful and um, just helps you uh, navigate through that, uh, that issue. So I highly recommend that you uh, try and attend these sessions and uh, you, you will get a lot out of them. Uh, so that was it, the mentor program that we have during the conference. We've also grown the mentor program that we have it available as a year round program. Um, so that if someone is looking for a mentor outside of conference mentoring, again, there's a, a space on the website to register and sign up for a mentor. And we will match you up with someone. Uh, and then you can correspond via email, texting, phone calls, Zoom meetings, FaceTime, however the two of you decide that you want to meet. Uh, I know that there's a lot of individuals that through their mentorship have become uh, long-term friends. And I know I have several friends that uh, I would call uh, close friends from the mentor program throughout the years. After this year, after you've had a mentor, uh, next year then you can be a mentor and help those new individuals that will be coming to the conference next year for the first time. Yeah. Okay, um, with that, I would like to introduce uh, Catherine Schultz, PSC Partners IT expert, and Joanne Hatchett, PSC Partners Medical Science Liaison, who are going to give us a brief introduction to the virtual platform for the conference. Ladies? Thank you. It's our pleasure to talk with you about the virtual platform and how we'll be using it during the conference. I am the perfect person to be asking Catherine, our PSC Partners IT expert, questions. Unfortunately, I'm not a super savvy computer expert. Joanne, don't worry. We will all have plenty of information to help everyone. Um, even those who are not comfortable using a computer or your cell phone or tablet on how to access the conference platform. Let's start with the registration. It's quick and easy. We'll go to, go to your website at pscpartners.org and you will see the conference announcement with a bright green button to register now. And I can honestly say that I assure everyone conference registration is quick and easy. I was able to do it. So you, I think, will find it's easy too. You will get a confirmation letter almost immediately. Something else that's really amazing and great this year. The conference fees for community members are optional for this year's conference. We encourage everyone to attend. 
We request, if you can afford to support the event, a suggested fee of $25 or more would be appreciated. And if you have any trouble, you can call PSC Partners, our headquarters, Denver office at 303-771-5227 during our business hours, which are nine to five mountain time, or just email us anytime at contact us at pscpartners.org. This information is all on our website. Um, we're happy to help and we encourage everyone to register and register soon. Catherine. I confessed that I'm not super great at technical stuff. So if I was uncomfortable maneuvering during the online conference, can you tell us what you think is easy to do? And if I got in trouble, how do I contact someone who can help? Sure, Joanne, it really is easy. The online platform has a simple menu. But if you do have any questions, we'll be there throughout the whole conference, as Jennifer and Wes mentioned, to assist you via our help desk, which is a live chat. Our help desk will have folks that can help connect you with others if you feel uncomfortable about navigating the platform. We'll also have com community volunteers if you wanna to talk to someone. Let's say you wanted to help in connecting, getting connected to one of the activities, or if you felt unsure or anxious about something, we will definitely be there for you throughout the whole conference. That, I think that's gonna be really cool. So do you have any short videos or handouts available? Yes, in fact, we do. You can go to our website under the conference tab. There is a Q&A section that has a series of quick videos about the conference. Um, you'll see all the staff there will be answering questions like including why should I attend, an overview of the conference, how to register, how can I spread the word, and more. Great. How do I find the agenda on the website? Joanne, the agenda can be found under the conference tab again. There is a PDF you can view, print, or take a screenshot of that on our website. It will also be on the platform under full schedule and then also on the homepage of the platform. So it's gonna be very easy to find. Great, all right. So I've also wondered, is it hard to navigate from one session to another? I've been on some programs, platforms that it wasn't easy to do. Uh, this one's very simple. The agenda, as I mentioned, is listed in many places on the platform, including the homepage. You'll be able to select sessions from there or go to the sessions menu on the left of the platform to join an event. You can even create a calendar of your session so that you're all prepared. Nice, okay. And what if I'm in a breakout session and I decide I really want to either go to another breakout or can I even leave that breakout and go do something else like a networking session or something? Or sure. one of those, is it networking session, networking lounge? A network lounge, of course. Yes, you can leave a session at any time. I'm sure you won't want to, of course, but you can join a different one or come back to the one you were in. You can also visit our network lounges, visit the pharma exhibit halls, the poster sessions, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with someone through the attendee connections. And we even have a gamification challenge for those of you with a competitive spirit and prizes will be given. We do strongly encourage everyone to visit the pharma exhibit hall to talk to pharmas. They're interested in PSC and they are actually, we have pharmas that are in the midst of clinical trials or that are interested in looking into clinical trials for PSC. Excellent. Jennifer and Wes talked about interactive sessions with researchers. Will there be a way to use the chat so that I can ask my questions that way? Yes, in all the ses sessions, you can ask questions in the chat or the Q&A. You can also ask an anonymous question. And remember, you can always send PSC partners your questions or comments by email, snail mail, or on your post-conference survey. Great. So going back to those networking lounges, are they easy to use? 
Yes, they're fun. Network lounges are designed for live video chat. Think of yourself on a virtual couch or in a live interactive video game. You can have one-to-one -one discussions or within a group, and it can be a party or an intimate, small, quiet chat. Great. Okay. Can my husband and I both use the same computer? Sure, you and your spouse, family member, friend can share a computer. Although if possible, I think you'll have a better experience if you each have your own device. Thank you. I may not be technically inclined, but I do help coordinate the peer group sessions. And I wanted to mention that for this year, we have some really great social events for teens, ages 13 to 21. One of them is Lisa LaCroix. She's an actress, podcaster, and friend of PSC Partners. She's going to lead a casual get to know each other session. That'll be on Thursday evening. While the attendees can learn, both learn fun as well as useful communication skills. There will also be a social event with a graffiti artist and educator. These both have to be pre-registered. So you do that during registration when your teen or young adult registers. There is other two other teen sessions too, but those are the ones that really stand out at this point. And I want to be honest, I'd like to attend the graffiti one, but <laughs> right? they won't let me. <laughs> no. Well, Joanne, do you have any other questions that we should discuss right now? No, not right now. Thanks. Then we should move to the Q&A and folks can ask Jennifer, Wes, Trish, Ricky, and Megan Carey questions. Plus, we can answer any technical questions that all of you might have. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome to the Q&A. Please feel free to put any questions that you'd like to have us answer in the Q&A. We have a few questions in there already. Um, I think what I'm going to do is we'll circle around and whoever's best to answer, I'll try to direct it towards you. And um, if you have a burning desire to answer a question, please raise your hand. Um, the first one uh, I'm going to give to Ricky. It's I'm, I'm new and I don't understand much about PSC yet. I'm afraid that I'll get lost at the conference. Any advice? Yes. So some of the advice you've always ha already had, and one is I would definitely ask for a mentor and stay in touch with your mentor as often as you can, even before the conference. And then as um, they mentioned before, that during our platform, you can at any point get in touch with your mentor or anybody else you want. And if you're feeling like you've just had enough and you can't do it, you can always take a break. Like when we have in-person conferences, we have a lounge where people just, if they, they just can't hear anymore for a while, they just go sit in that lounge. So feel free to leave or turn off your camera, walk out of the room for a while, talk to someone else, whatever you think will make you feel better because it is pretty overwhelming your first time you'll hear so much information but just just know just try to absorb as much as you can and reach out honestly I can't say enough about a wonderful what a wonderful community we have and anybody even if on this virtual we've never had a virtual conference like this but I can almost promise you if you just pick a name out of all the people and just say I'm new I need to talk to someone they will jump on and you, you will have a new friend in five minutes so and if the others want to add something to this. I just want to say stay involved, you know, stick stick with it as much as you can attend as much as you can. Um, take breaks as needed. Uh, I know it's virtual and the, you know, the platform may seem overwhelming right now because you haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we're doing everything we can to make it user friendly and um, and personal so. Uh, try just to meet people, commit to meeting people for the weekend. That's awesome, thank you. Uh, next question, is there a time during the conference when people ask their, when they talk about their experiences like PSC uh, symptoms and what's worked for them and what hasn't? Um, maybe one of you can address the question of sort of your experience in a peer question, uh, you know, peer session 
which will be held Thursday evening and on Sunday both. And those are just for patients and caregivers. So we wanted to let you know that, that the, none of the corporate or industry uh, can register for these sessions. These are just specifically for patients and caregivers. Um, but what it, the value of those peer sessions, I think a lot of people dismiss and say, oh, I'm not gonna go to that. It's, 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 it's not you know, technical and it's not scientific, but I think it turns out to be the most popular sessions. So does anybody care to share their experience in a peer session? Sure, I can Les? jump in. Yeah, um, she's absolutely right. It was the highlight for me. Um, I enjoyed learning more and more detail about the disease and the research. Uh, but walking into the spouse and caregivers peer session, which is closed off and private, and I could go up to another husband of a wife with PSC who's been dealing with this for 10 years and just kind of grab his shoulders and say, what can I expect? What in the world, what am I, have I gotten myself into here? Help. And he was 10 years ahead of me. I mean, he was like the scouting party. Uh, and he could see in my eyes that I was panicked. And he just said, sit down, let's talk for a second. Um, mm -hmm. The value in that is priceless. Mm -hmm. And we exchanged information and numbers and emails. And occasionally we'll just ping each other um, just to mm -hmm. see how we're doing. Uh, and we still know each other today. Um, mm -hmm. And without a conference like this, because it's such a rare disease, those moments are few and far between. You know, maybe you're in the rare circumstance where you know somebody with PSC and you already have somebody, but most of us don't. And this conference is a great opportunity to just reach out. Um, and I would just say, take advantage of it. You're gonna, you're gonna find yourself to be in a very comforting and supportive community um, of people who know what you're going through. And so if, you know, this, look, this is awkward. We're, we're all virtual right now, this is hard. But it is what it is, especially in a community uh, with people with a rare liver disease, right? So right now, this is the best we can do. And just send a message to somebody. Hey, saw you in our peer group. You know, I heard you had a wife or a husband or a son or a daughter, or you have it yourself. And you've been dealing with it for years. How are you doing? Tell me, you know, this is new to me. And I guarantee you, people will share and they want to help. So uh, take advantage of those peer groups. Thanks, Wes. I appreciate that. I would like Go to ahead, Ricky. Well, Mary, just add to um, here. I forgot what she was. I loved how she just put this her little chat here. She said, um, and don't forget, we're also weirdly fun when we get together. So um, I know it sounds really strange, and you're probably thinking, I don't want to spend a weekend with these people, even online, but we we laugh and we cry we go from one to the other but we really have so much fun together and you will just feel like you really have people who understand you and it's not over when the conference is over mm -hmm. say those people's names get their emails or phone number however you want to because everybody will stay stick with you mm -hmm. i would just say that the conference is just the beginning if if, if you're new that that's just just the beginning of what you have in this organization. I appreciate it. Thanks for your answers on that. I, Go ahead, I know Jen. this is get, it's getting long, but I just want to chime in a little bit. I don't know if there's any parents of PSCers on here. Uh, we have that unique um, situation where it's our child. It's not our spouse or, or us, it's our child. And I know that can be even more scary because when anything happens to your kiddo, um, it can be just wow, you just don't even know what to do, where to go. So those peer group sessions with other parents, uh, I found were invaluable as far as just, hey, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Like we're, we're gonna get through this and we get through it together and you meet other parents and, um, and you can commiserate, you can laugh, you can cry, you can ask questions about treatments that your doctor has recommended. I mean, none of us are going to be able to give medical advice uh, but we can commiserate and we can chat and we can give resources. And, and that is something that's really, really important and can't be replaced and you can't get that environment anywhere else. That's, that's amazing. Uh, somebody else asked, um, which is a sort of a follow-up to this, will the sessions be recording if I'm not recorded if I'm not able to attend? And the answer to that is yes and no. We will be recording the scientific sessions where it's not a discussion in a breakout room, if that makes sense. Uh, for instance, the peer sessions 
will not be recorded. That's a sacred space for the, the participants to share freely and openly without having to worry about a recording. So those will not. But the other ones throughout the day will be um, recorded and then we'll post them on our website as soon as we can. Uh, we have so much going on this weekend that it's gonna take us a little while to, to uh, work through the production to get them posted, but be assured that they will be on the website. Um, I have one for Ricky. Um, there, someone was asking if there is going to be much content for people who are outside of the United States. Yes, so uh, the re we will have this year, usually we have the researchers from one center with maybe one or two guest researchers, but because we're launching our International Collaborative Research Network, we will have speakers from all over the world. And um, one of the thing, I don't know if anybody mentioned before, but you will have a choice during one of the kind of breakout sessions where we have two type of times where we have a choice of meet the professor. And each of those times you can choose, to, uh, and it's just an open casual session where you come in and ask any question you have that you wanna know about PSC. We will have um, each time there's one, one professor from the US, one from Canada, one from Europe, and then one pediatric. So that's another time, but the researchers will not all be from North America at all. They'll be from all over the world. Okay, great. Um, let's see, this is sort of about the timing of the conference. I've not registered yet. Does the conference start on Thursday morning, evening? Uh, what are the beginning and ending times? So Ricky, you're probably the best one to answer that one. Yes, so it starts Thursday night um, and everything is going to be listed on Mountain Time. So make sure how you relate to Mountain Time where you live. Um, we start Thursday night at, uh, I'm sorry, it's five or six, Megan. Yes. We started five. I think we started <laughs> five. I can look that up in a second. But anyway, we start at five o'clock. Um, the first hour on Thursday is a purely social event where you're going to be matched, you know, quickly matched with different people and you have maybe four or five minutes to talk to each person, then you'll meet another person. Um, that'll be the first hour. The second hour, we are going to break into our peer groups. Um, and then what was the other part of the question? When does it start and was there more? When does it end? So I think it's it's important that we clarify which um, sessions are for everyone and which ones are just for patients and caregivers. So Thursday night and so all day, all morning Sunday are just for patients and caregivers. On Friday and Saturday, that's when we will have all the medical people, the pharmas and so on. Um, so Sunday we finish at... One it's, o'clock. It's it's supposed to be one o'clock. One o'clock Mountain. We've okay. changed the time so much that's why it's not in my head at this point. But we finish uh, one o'clock Mountain Time Sunday, and Sunday is strictly the peer sessions. And as everybody has said, do not miss them. They are amazing. All right, we have another one that says, I've heard someone mention the patient voice. What does that mean? I I think that we covered it, but I think. Uh, again, this one's going to go to Ricky. How how is the patient voice going to be different this time? I mean, some of the discussions that we're having, we've not been able to have before, and uh, I, I think it's really uh, great that patients really can make a difference and be in the room with these researchers and tell them what's important to them and help them to maybe they'll remember to prioritize that when they're doing their work, but um, maybe about the think tank sessions and yeah. um, so yeah, so this all kind of goes back to, I know I mentioned the roadmap webinars we had last year on a monthly basis. So those were educational sessions. And what we did, we would have um, several speakers in the first part. And then the second part, we would break into much smaller groups where we had medical experts thrown in with patients and caregivers. And that was a time for us to have conversations um, where we're sharing ideas on the topic that was just presented. And the whole idea was getting us all ready for this conference. The, the point of our International Collaborative Research Network is to, whereas before it was always the clinicians and researchers giving us all the information. And now we want them to be listening to our patient voice, um, which is a very important part of us moving on, creating a research agenda, um, a patient reported outcome measure, which you'll hear more about too, but these are all, um, parts of moving research along where the, the patient has a much, plays a much bigger role than they did before in anything we've ever done. 
So please join in. And even if you're new, and even if you don't, um, you feel like you don't know much about PSC yet, it's okay. You still have the same concerns, the same worries, the same questions. We all have those same things in common. So please come and speak up. We need everybody. Thanks, Ricky. Here's one. It says, I don't want my last name posted during the conference. What do I do? Um, I think I'm going to field this one uh, because it, it's patient privacy is, is super important. Uh, we recognize that we have the platform set up so that when patients and caregivers register, it will not automatically post your last name. It will just post a first name. You know, and we did that on purpose. You have the option as an attendee to put in information in your um, profile that you'd like to have you know, available to others. So my biggest suggestion is to, after you've registered a few days before the conference, you will be receiving a link to the platform and you'll be able to go on and just play, explore, set up your profile, uh, put your name in like you want it. If you want to put your last name, please do. You know, it, it, you're welcome to set it up how you would like to. Um, those options are for you to choose and also get a familiar with just sort of how to navigate around and how to move. And if you have questions in the meantime, we'll be available at, at headquarters, which is the Denver office. And so all of our contact information is on the website. So feel free uh, to contact us at any time. Uh, I have one more for Ricky. Uh, there's one in here that says, will we find out on Saturday of the conference where next year's conference will be? We get this question every single year. <laughs> so if you are new and you haven't been to our conference, it's always a big deal on Saturday night. It's always a big surprise where we're going to be the next year. So unfortunately, this year we will not have an answer for you yet because we don't know if we're going to be in person, unfortunately, still stuck in virtual mode. So um, we will not be able to announce it yet. That's an all-time first, but that's true. Yeah. That's what true. happened was for this year, first we had the entire conference planned in Boston. We had the contract signed with the hotel. We had a whole agenda planned. And then we realized COVID was still raging. And we had to undo that and start all over from scratch. And we don't want to have to do that again. So we will let you know as soon as we make a decision. All right, I think we have to end here because I think our time is up. So thank you to Jennifer, Wes, Trish, and Megan for that. And um, I think I will finish with our next slide we have. Okay, um, so just a few reminders and there's a lot of the stuff you've already heard. Please think about joining our patient registry. If you're new, please ask for a mentor. Listen to our monthly podcasts. They're on all different topics. Um, we have a, a page on our website with links to updated COVID-19 and vaccine information. Um, if you haven't signed up for a mailing list, please sign now. Um, you'll keep getting information, more information about the conference. Follow us on social media where you also will hear about that. Upcoming events, we have one more pre-conference webinar before the conference starts. It's the Basics of Pediatric PSC. It's Thursday, the 26th of May from 6 to 7.30 Mountain Time the conference you know about. Um, and then we have a kickoff of our second annual Walk 83.01 fundraiser on Saturday, July 9th. You'll hear more about that. Um, be sure to visit our website at pscpartners.org and Canadians, please visit also pscpartners.ca. So I want to thank everyone tonight and thank our community sponsors. And also just to tell every, all our attendees that if you have any more questions, please, please feel free to write to us at contact us at pscpartners.org. Bye-bye. <laughs>